YouTube, what's going on? I'm Adrian the Barber. Today's Hacker Tutorial, I'll be doing a low ball taper. Got my boy Q in the chair. He's a waver. Um, and so I thought this would be a good video, a good opportunity to show you guys how to cut waves, um, as well as showing you a low ball taper. And I'm going a little bit more in depth with the lineup in this video. So let's go ahead and get into it. You see the first thing I'm doing is brushing the comb of the hair. If you watch my videos, you know this is always the first thing I do. Um, very important, especially with people that are super adamant about keeping their waves nice. You gotta make sure you find the direction of the hair because you don't want to accidentally go against the grain, you know, for any given reason because you didn't comb it out or brush it. And, uh, you know, do your research onto, onto what you're cutting. So, again, comb brush your hair. Uh, I got a one and a half guard this video. Only clippers I'm using are uh, NST outliners along with my uh, wall cord Messina. So, one and a half guard cutting hair with the grain. So I already combed through it. I know um, the direction of the hair is growing. And so I'm just gonna follow that path all the way around. Again, um, in all my videos, I like to watch the video with you guys and coach you through it and give you tips along the way. Um, make sure you leave comments and um, ask me any questions. You know, I can help you guys out along the way. Again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Got a ton of great content coming out. Um, I just released the first Man We video. I believe it's the first Man We video on YouTube. Um, man, you're not, you're not gonna find it anywhere else for free, so make sure you check the video out if you haven't. Again, subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, it's December. I'm delivering presents. I got some more great videos coming out. You see, I'm in Christmas spirit. Got my tree out. Um, yeah, spend all that money on it. I might as well use it as a prop. So that's a good tone for the video. I'm gonna make fun of my tree. So yeah, one and a half guard, one and a half guard still. Um, just make sure I get a nice even cut. Uh, follow the direction of the hair grow. Keep your uh, keep your comb or keep your brushing your hair so you can continue to brush your comb while you're cutting your hair. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my number one guard and I'm just gonna trim his hairline down. I'm just staying right on the front hairline. I'm not going back any farther. Um, I got my clippers all the way closed and I'm just going, I'm just trimming that front hairline. So then when I go to line it up, I get a nice clean line on it. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you go over and follow me on Instagram. Um, you see my Instagram name right up here or wherever it's at, uh, right up top left corner. Um, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. So now, um, one technique I like to use, I don't just do this with people ways, I do it with a lot of clients, is I like to get a hot towel, um, put it on their head, let it sit on there for like, you know, 45 seconds to a minute. Um, it helps get, like, if people's hair is dirty, it helps get the grease and uh, dirt and everything out of their hair. And also, it dries out. It dries out their hairline as well. So then, when you go to line them up, you get a nice good hairline. And when I take it off, I just kind of rub it through the head again, just to, just to kind of clean up the hair a little bit. Now I'm taking my blow dryer. And since the hair is not going to be soaking wet, it's just going to be a little damp. But I want to get it, you know, completely dry. Obviously, um, cutting hair completely dry, you get the best results. So this is like a mini shampoo. I wouldn't even call it a little shampoo, but like a mini shampoo. It gives you, it gives the hair a nicer, a nicer, cleaner cut when you use a hot towel. I think I showed that in one of my past videos, but um, I actually do that pretty often. And now I'm doing here. I just put my one and a half guard back on because that uh, once you put that hot towel on and then go back and blow dry it, any hair that you didn't get is going to stick back up. So I like to just go back over the hair one more time just to make sure I got a nice smooth even cut and get any of those little hairs that's standing up. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start this taper. Um, with my cordless seniors, all I'm going to do is just close it all the way and then I'm going to make my first guideline. Um, this is the only guideline I'm going to make. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to work this line up. So, 
the seniors compared to the masters, like I don't have the notches on the side. So I can't really say I'm going from the first notch to the second notch to the third or first to third. Uh, so really it's just a lot of guessing when it comes to the seniors. Most of the time when I'm using seniors, I'm just going from like all the way closed to halfway open to you know almost all the way open to all the way open um, as you see in the video. So I'm really just playing with the lever and just you know just working it up slowly. And this is going to be a ball taper. I didn't ball it out right away. Uh, this is just another tapering technique or fading technique that I do sometimes. I'll just use like a 3-0. And when you fade like this, you don't get stuck with those hard lines like you would if you go ahead and take your detailers like I usually do and go in and make that guy line. So after I work those clippers to close all the way open, I'm just going to take my half guard on my uh, wall seniors. I'm going to close them all the way and I'm going to use the same technique. Just blending this into the top of the hair. Um, most of the time you're going to see me, I'm just using like, when I'm trying to work in those small spaces, I'm just using the corner of my clippers. If I try to use too much of my blade, it's going to be way too easy to raise that fade up higher than I want it. So again, uh, just pay attention to my technique closely as I'm just using the corner of the clippers. Those last three or four blades on each side and just knocking out little spots that I see. And then on my taper, this half guard is the only guard that I'm going to use. Um, I'm just going to open it all the way up and I'm just going to, like I said, real light handed, just feather, just feather that weight into the top. And now I'm going to ball it. I'm going to take my detailers. And I'm going to go in. And I'm just going to knock out anything just right at the bottom. Um, with these, I'm keeping them low. I'm keeping them right way at the bottom because you'll see how this turns into a low taper once I go in line with the haircut up. Uh, it might look like it's like a mid or a little bit, you know, getting up there into like a big taper. But like I said, if I line it up, you'll see you know, the difference in it. So now I'm going to switch over to the right side after I finish that taper. I'm just gonna use the same exact technique. I'm not changing anything up. Um, only thing that might change up is the direction that I'm fading the hair because the hair might grow in a different direction. So again, you know, once you get to that other side, pay close attention to the direction of the hair growth. So then you can get the same results on both sides. Same thing, um, started with the clothes and just gonna work them open. Using just the corners of my blade. You see, I'm never gonna use the middle of my blade when I'm in this position. Because once I start doing that, then I'm gonna be up to a mid to a high taper. And that's not what the client wants, that's not what I want. So, um, to avoid anything like that, like I said, small strokes, um, just using the small corners of the clipper. All the way open. After I finish all the way open, I'm gonna go right back, just like I did with my half guard. Put my half guard back on. Same exact steps, I'm not changing anything up. Now here I go back with my half guard again. And if you're using Andy's Masters, um, this half guard is the same as the zero guard that the uh, you know the purple magnetic guard. That the the same thing as zero guard. And I'll put a card up here for uh, my video that I have with the comparison um, of guards versus blades. I think it's an important video to watch, especially if you don't understand the difference between the two. Um, like I said in that video, uh, wall guards and anti guards, the measurements are all the same. The only thing is like, if you got your zero and you got your half, they're both the, they're the same exact blade. Or same exact guard, excuse me. In half guard, work it open, just put that right into the top. And then if you ever get any extra weight, um, if you can't get out with that half guard, you can move up to your one or you can just take your uh, 
clipper and turn around and go down with the grain to get that uh, blended out. Now I'm going back to my detailer. For my detailer, again, just stay real, real low. I'm not going up above the ear. Stay real low and just taper that out. And now, um, as I get into the lineup, um, we want to stay on the natural hairline as much as possible, and we want to try to get a nice crispy lineup at the same time. So you see my technique here. All I'm doing is tapping and pulling away, staying on the natural hairline. Um, yeah, these clippers are sharp. Uh, like I say in all my videos, I don't put a lot of pressure. You don't see me hitting my client's head and his head bouncing around, everything like that. Um, real light handed. I'm letting, all, I'm letting the clipper do all the work for me. All I'm doing is I'm tapping and I'm pulling it away. That's the technique I use when I'm doing my lines. Also, another technique I use, you're going to see me just line up the front hairline first. After the front hairline, I'm going to go down to my C cups, and then I'm going to come back and do these vertical bars. So, you know, you'll see it here in a second. But... Now, also, I'll put uh, links down in the description for the blades that I use, um, these, these gold blades. I can't think of the name of them, they're, they're trek, trek blades is what they're called. Uh, man, fresh out of the box, straight out the box, they, they hit right away. You don't even have to adjust them or anything. Take them out of the box, put them on your uh, clipper, and just go ahead and start cutting. So I finished the, I finished the front hairline. Now I'm going to go, I'm going to do a C cup. I'm on the left side, knocking out that C cup. I always start at that, that front point. I like to make a little guide. Now I go down to the sideburn. Um, I'll make another guy there, then I come in and I connect the two. The same thing when I'm, when I'm working on the corners, or not the corners, but the C cups. Um, personally, like, I prefer I prefer to use the T outliners over the detailers. I feel like I get better curves, better curves when I use the uh, the T outliners, just because they got thinner blades. I feel like they cut more accurately. But I got I got friends, I got other barbers that that love to do their C cups with the detailers. Like it, just personal preference, but. Oh no, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Leave me a comment. What, what, what clip would you like to make your seat cups with? And then again, like I said, front line, seat cups, and then I hit the vertical bars. Because then once you do that, then all you gotta do is just connect the front line to the seat cup. And then when I when I do those vertical bars, I always like uh, I like to look at the hairline first, and then I like to see, because um, like I said, not everybody's hairline is perfect. I like to see which which vertical bar is farther back, and so if the left one's farther back, then I like to start with that one, and I like to hit that one, then I like to go to the other one, and then I'll try to even it up from there. Um, that's just, like I said again, that's just, that's just the way I do it, but yeah, it works for me. So for instance, on him, his left one was uh, a little bit farther back. So I started with the left that way and did the right. And now, um, go ahead and get to your straight razor. This is something I haven't shown a lot in my videos, but I'm, I'm gonna start putting it in all my videos, um, showing you guys my razor, straight razor technique. Um, the razor holder I have is just a little cheap. I think ten, fifteen dollars straight razor holder. I can't even remember where I got it at. Probably off Amazon or um, one of the local beauty, beauty supply stores or something. But the blades that I use are feather blades, and I'll put a link down in the description for the feather blades. Them are out of all the razor blades, the razors I use, I've used probably at least six, seven different companies of types of blades, and the feather blades are the best. I don't care what anybody says. Um, I, I got my money off feather blades all day. 
But if you guys got something that you use that you think is the best, um, go ahead and let me know, man. I, like I said, I've used I've used probably at least six, seven different different uh, types of blades, and so I know there's probably a lot more out there. And so let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite razors are you like to use, and I'm gonna go ahead, I'll, I'll go ahead and buy them and try them out just because I like to try out all different types of products. So make sure you comment your favorite razor you'd like to use and then comment where you buy them at too. Again, all I'm doing is with the razor, I'm going through, um, I'm leaving with the point of my blade. I don't want to start, I don't want to leave with the back of my blade. I want to start leaving with the back. That's how you can start cutting people. Um, it gets pretty easy. I'm really, I'm pretty light-handed when it comes to the razor. And so, um, really want to go through you want to get all that all that stubble that's left over that your clippers didn't get and just go through and clean up everything that you know your t-outliners your detailers didn't get so yeah that's that's it for this video here's the final result of the cut um i hope you guys enjoyed it hope you learned something new but again if you're not subscribed to the channel subscribe and you know leave comments let's chat follow me on instagram but that's it for this video man Thanks for spending another 15 minutes with me. This is Adrian the Barber, and I'm out.